What's different in the second generation? Why? So the primary differences in the second generation Stratus are that it incorporates dual band ADSB in receivers, 978 and 1090 megahertz in receivers. In addition to that, it has backup AHAR solution built right into it that works with a separate little app called Stratus Horizon that we make and publish on the iTunes store. Basically what it allows the pilot to do is to fire up the device, throw it on their glare shield, go flying. If they were to get in some sort of a situation where they lost their primary instruments, they'd have that backup AHARS. In addition to the AHARS and the additional ADSB functions, we have some additional connectivity functions with the new device and just general improved performance. Now, what devices does this interface with at this stage of the game? The Stratus works exclusively with ForeFlight Mobile, which runs on basically any of the iOS devices, the Apple devices. Where did this all come from? As we were looking at the market and becoming aware of the ADSB technology that the government was putting in with the next gen air traffic control system, we began to see that as a good possible market for GA aircraft. Folks who have steam gauges and small aircraft that aren't going to want necessarily to spend a great deal of money to put in a dedicated weather solution in their aircraft. And so we started developing the original Stratus. We found a great partner in ForeFlight and also a great partner in Sporties for distribution of the product. So it was basically a motivation to bring this technology to the average pilot. Now we're finding that in addition to those GA pilots that are enjoying them in a 172 or an Archer or something like that, we've got all kinds of bizjet pilots that are flying them. It's been a great thing. Okay, what's it take to get me equipped? What do I need to know? What do I have to do? How much time? What do I need to learn? Basically all you do is you power on the device. It creates a wireless network that you can then go into the wireless settings on your iPad, connect to that network, switch back over to ForeFlight, and you're good to go. Availability and cost? $899 for the Stratus 2. We do still sell the original Stratus 1 at $699. Looking forward to seeing what's uh, coming out. And one of these days we're going to have to do an eval in the new unit. We'd love to, love to have you do that. Thank you, sir. Much appreciate it. Aero TV is brought to you by... Since the early days of powered flight, pilots have struggled with landing in crosswinds. In fact, crosswinds and wind gusts cause more landing accidents than fog, thunderstorms, and icing combined. That's where the Redbird X-Wind SE comes in. By placing pilots in gusty crosswind conditions for extended periods of time, the X-Wind SE gives instructors all the time they need to teach the pilot the proper techniques for landing in crosswind conditions. For more information on Redbird X-Wind SE and Redbird's entire line of flight training devices, visit www.redbirdflightsimulation.com.